Hi, welcome back to the ASP.NET Web Form and Entity Framework Learning. And today in this video, I would like to show you how to create the Web Form project in Visual Studio. And after that, we will do the hosting is in the IS server for running. Okay, so let's get started. And I will open the Visual Studio and the current button I'm using is 2017. Okay, cool. So now I will open this one. I will create a folder shortcode here. Okay, so I will save the solution and shortcode in this folder. Clicking on the file, new project and I will select the web and I will using the Visual C Sharp for coding okay you select the .NET ASP.NET web application .NET framework I will select the folder copy this part okay so I will name it either okay this one is VSI 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 uh training training okay so here indeed of select the MVC so I will select the web form Okay, so after that, click on OK button to create the project. It will take a while for the Visual Studio to create the project in the first time. Mm, okay, so now it display a warning message here because you can see here the part of the which contains the folder of shortcode is very long. So I will come back and edit it later. Okay, so now this one is the folder shortcode we have the we have been created. So now you can here by default it had been created some example file in default view scripture content content there are some the bootstrap style sheet and phone script there are some the jQuery template script okay so now try to run it first Okay, cool. So you can see here, they are using the template, look like the same thing when we are creating new the MVC website. Okay, cool. So now I will use this uh, default template for creating the website. Okay, so basically you are able to create another template for the website by writing the code for uh, HTML and style sheet and JavaScript. But in this video today, I will uh, in this series I will use it in the default default style sheet for my project. Okay, cool. And I close this one. So here, for now, I will do the setting. For now, we have just finished to creating the web form project for for VSI training 
and so now I will open the Internet Information Services to create new the the the, the, the website running on the uh, IS server. It did a running the website over the Visual Studio instance. You clicking on the run button here to run it. So now I will use the IS server to manage the short code and have to create the environment for running the website on my local PC. Okay, cool. So now I will open the here. I will type it INET MZR enter. Okay. So now here I will create I will name it the VSI dot local. I will copy the same hot name. Okay, cool. I will copy the path of this sort code. Training. We have to paste it into the physical path. Okay. So now the application pool here, we should use the default. When you create new site here, so it will automatically create new the application pool for you. It is hotting under the application pool here. Okay, so by default you can select another application pool. Instead of creating new application pool here, so you can use the default app pool or classic.net app pool or another another thing here. However, I think you should leave it by default here for uh, when you creating new the sign name is we should use the same same thing the same sign name for application pool okay so the binding type here we should select the http and ip address here leave it by default on unassigned and the post we use uh, uh, by default we 18 80 okay so click on ok button i will copy this one Okay, so for now, if you open this one, okay, we have application pool here. So after that, it will create new application pool for you, vsi.local. Okay, so now I will select the website. And you can see here on the right panel, we have a pro website. When you click on the Pro local website here. It will open it in the um, browser. So now let's see what happened when you are running this. It's loading. Still loading. Okay, so you can see here after it takes so long time for trying to connect into the vsi.local website, but we cannot reach the site because for now uh, the uh, it don't it don't know where to get the 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 the, 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 the right destination website to display it on the, the the browser here. So we have to open the window. Window and window and system three two go to the drive etc and you have to update at at the at, at the uh, website into the local uh, local host file here. Okay, cool. So here I will copy this one, put it here. Yeah. So now when you type the VSI dot local on the browser, so it will understand there is a default local hot. Okay, cool. Save it. Cool. Close this one. Close this one and now come back to the browser. 
try to refresh this one. Yeah, so you can see here after we do the setting for the uh, the for the website by putting the content into the hot file here, the VS side dot local there is the alias of the the IP one uh, and um, twenty seven point dot uh, zero dot zero dot one. Okay, there is the local hot cool. And click on home about contact. Yeah. Okay, so I think that's all for today. And after you finish this video, you know how to create a web form project in by using the Visual Studio. And after that, you know how to do the how to hosting it in into the IIS server for running. So indeed of uh, um running the website over the Visual Studio, we are we are we are now able to run it under the IS server. Okay, cool. Hope that helps and let me know if you see any issue and see you later in another video.